see a friend I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I was on the program. Oh, I got a sec. I was on the uh, panel, and I was surprised how small it was because usually it was like, you know, 100 plus people, and it was very small class this time. I didn't you know, realize it was that small. But they had one opening, and so someone got it. <laughs> <laughs> one that probably really needed it. The only person I know that wasn't going to be here is Carl, so I don't know. I'm out of town. Okay. Yeah, Gary did say he was coming. Okay. All right, it is about 30, 25 seconds off. So I guess we can wait 25 seconds. We already are. So with the red lights on, it's off. Well, it's on. This red light here. Oh, that's us. <laughs> so now it's on. It's on. Okay. Okay, it is 6.15. We'll call this meeting to order. Has everybody taken a chance to look over our DD minutes from November? If so, do I hear a motion? I so move, Mr. Chairman. All right, we've got a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? All right, moving down to financial report. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, Carl <clears throat> isn't, obviously, he's a CPA, so this is a busy time. So he... He's not going to make the meeting. Um, I, we didn't have any transactions in the DDA account this month. Um, as you know, we don't really do a lot of business, so all the finances are the same. He didn't give me an updated report, but it's not any different than the last time. All right, all right move on down number four, downtown development. That's yours? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but no. <laughs> 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 uh, I guess we could go to the old business. That's all, that's okay, all we'll I got. We'll the old any, business yeah. then. Discussion of facade grant for Jerry Cole. Yep. We have uh, actually two facade grant applications are both in the packet. Uh, the first one was for Jerry Cole. Uh, he's wanting to um, replace the door, uh, the garage door on the West Wilson side of his building where Amy Brown State Farm is. Um, and so he's provided some information. He also submitted an a application for the exterior improvement grant for the Main Street Board. And I also included that information in the packet just for, just for your information. Um, the Main Street Board did recommend. Um, Chris, well, you got copies of that? We didn't get the packet. I, oh, well, you can. I'm sorry. I emailed it, it late, so I apologize. And I thought Elisa was making some copies. But um, no worries. We got copies here of it. You can use. It. Ugh. And if you're technologically savvy, you should be able to pull it up on your phone. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, so this would just be for window repairs and uh, some renovation of the door. Does this need to go to for the historical committee first? Yeah, I told both of them. Well, I would think that you can approve it contingent on historic preservation signing off on it. So he doesn't have to wait a whole nother 30 days to come back to this board. Um, so we could approve them contingent that he gets uh, approval from historic preservation and then he can they can both worry about getting it on the historic preservation agenda. Yeah, that, but that's his writing. That doesn't necessarily. No, so yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, just because they put it in there doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> uh, so, um, so then that would go to historic preservation, and and we could do it like that if that's the will of the DDA, and we wouldn't fund any money until we get that signed off for historic preservation. And it has to be approved by us, too. Isn't that right, Bill? Well, we can't approve it unless they approve it. Yeah. Because that is step one, and, you know. If they don't approve it, then we really can't approve it. Right, which is why I was saying we can still approve the funds contingent upon historic preservation approval. Yes. Yeah. That comes out of Tracy's DDA account, right? Right. And we've got not enough to cover those two. It. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty five hundred. I think they're both twenty five. Mm -hmm. so well now. Uh, Mr. Hudgens here, Chris, it says approximate cost of total improvements, twenty eight hundred. Right. And he wants twenty two hundred. We we can only give him fourteen. Half of the twenty eight, right? Half of the twenty eight. We we can match him dollar for dollar, up to five thousand. Mm -hmm. But the but the twenty eight hundred, he says, is the total cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we could go 14, but we can't go 22 on it. Well, you can do 14. And then on Jappos or Jerry Coles, he's requesting. It would be half of that then. So we've got that to cover it, right, Tracy? 25, is that right? Yeah, I think that. Now, I just bring, I just bring the applications with the request I don't make any I don't alter the application so it's up to DDA I mean you don't have to give them the whole amount if you don't want to I mean it's up to, right. to the DDA How, it's up to yeah mm -hmm. yeah up to yeah. yeah I remember talking to uh, uh, to Mr. Hudgens and this was how many months ago was it Chris back it's been several it's been at least six back in the summer I guess yeah. wasn't it and uh, he he was uh, going to do some major work on the interior which it needed. It needed a whole new floor. It needed uh, re-plumbed. It, it, it needed uh, a lot of work done on it. And as I recall our conversation, I said, if you will get us an application in, we will consider doing all of these things. Now, he painted it before we got the application, mm -hmm. but the uh, window he's referring to, it does have a hole in it where somebody evidently shot it with a 22 or or a pellet gun or something. And he he mentioned the door that is on the front is an antique style door, which he, he wanted to refinish back to its original condition and uh, rehang it. So we're talking about window replacement on just one side though, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then refinishing the door. Mm -hmm. uh, before we approve this, I. I think we should get uh, get what he estimates it'll cost for that. He has no cost estimation at all. Mm -hmm. Well, he just got a total cost estimation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but refinishing the door plus replacing that one piece of plate glass was basically what we're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Yep. So, I. Before we approve any amount, I would like to see the, you know what that amount's going to be. All right, First. we will we will let them know. Yeah, it, it included painting. It included. Uh, uh, Place the glass that has pellet gun in it. Repair brick. Something. Paint paint bricks. Paint bricks. Which he's already done. 
but but I, re, I recall telling him, Jody, that he needed to get this application, application in yeah. so we could approve it prior to any work being done. Right. And I expressed that to him when he brought the application. Yeah. So so he is uh, he hadn't followed through uh, with that. Want to table that one until we? I, I I recommend we table it until we get uh, get, a, right. get a better description here. What about Jerry Coles then? Chris, you said this one had not had not gone to the historic. It had, had not no. either. Do we have a second for that? Mm, wait a minute. What improvements are going to be made here? Are they going to put in a glass door there? No. Uh, what you have is a two-part application. Um, his, uh, I put all the stages there. He originally was going to do it. The Carl Vincent Institute that did the master plan for us, they had done some renderings for him. He then uh, decided that they didn't want to do those renderings. They're just going to replace it with a solid garage door there and uh, just for security purposes. Um, but that's all that they're going to do is just replace that door. So the first picture you had is the RSVP room. Right. The second picture, he's kind of what is there and he's telling you what he's going to do. They do bronze solid panels for security. And then they've changed that. Is, yeah. is this the one he proposes to wind up with? No, that's what the Carvins Institute, he's the one that, they had Carvins Institute do that, we didn't have them do that. They brought that to us and said, this is what they recommended for this side of the building. Oh, Jerry had that done. Uh, I think Amy Brown. Amy okay. Brown. Yeah. Amy did. Yeah. But, um... They ended up just coming back and saying they were going to do just a solid metal door, just like a regular traditional garage door. So it won't even be glass. Um, and there should be, is there not an image of it in there? Yeah, I thought I'd scanned it in. Okay. I thought I'd scanned that part in. There was an addition to that application with another picture of the door. Um, but it looks just like the one that's glass. It's a bronze color, but it's all metal. It's not glass, the door that they're proposing. Well, now, the one that, that is there now is a metal door, right? Right, that's correct. All a metal door. Mm -hmm. right it looks like it has some glass in it. Yeah, that was, that was their second proposal. The third proposal is the one that they added additional, okay. and I guess it didn't scan in, or it might have got stuck. Papers might have got stuck well, when I was scanning them. They are not adding the lighting? No, they're just replacing the door with they're a solid not, metal door. They are not doing... Uh, the awning and all of that. No. So they think that, that the door is going to cost $5,000? Well, well, that was... I gave, I gave Jeremiah. Put it there. The door is the, um, on that quote, 32585. Wait a minute, 
32585. What are we talking about? The here? quote, the job quote. Okay, we have 5,000. Right. Oh. Right. Uh. Well, he's got. Yeah. Well. Well, let's let's table that one because apparently none of those. There's a whole nother section that got scanned. That's <laughs> supposed to get scanned in. I guess it just missed the whole the whole thing. Yeah, it's not. This is the quote for what they were, when they were going to do the glass door part. Uh, the one for the metal door is different. It's got to be different. Yeah. I just put one in my house a couple of years ago from Home Depot. Well, this one's a little bit bigger than your house, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not that much yeah. bigger. Yeah, but it's... Uh, and we'll, I'll get that over to you all. A lot helped out the original, the first one. Yeah. What was the reason they decided not to do the the total upgrade on this? I I didn't get into all the details with that, but I'm assuming it'd have to do with money, the price, and that they didn't feel like it was necessary to have all of that. That must be yours. <laughs> Mine has a hole in it, but... <laughs> well, if, if Jerry and Amy are just going to replace the door, mm -hmm. what's wrong with the door that's there now other than it's not as pretty as a new door? Well, I think structurally there's some issues with it, especially at the bottom. I think yeah. more at the bottom. Yeah. So um, it needs to be replaced. It's just what, what are you going to require them to do when they replace it? about facade improvement. This is mm -hmm. facade repair. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just repairing a door that's there. Are you guys in agreement with that? We were about helping if, them do... Well, they're going to have to repair it anyway. This is, this is one of those kind of gray areas when you get right down, mm -hmm. down to it. This is, this is not exactly what we had in mind when we thought up the facade grant mm -hmm. approach. You know, a, a, a facade grant ideally would be changing the appearance of the outside with some upgrades to make it better for the whole downtown area. Mm -hmm. I, I have a little bit of problem with this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I, I listen, I... All I do, they bring them to me. Right. I bring them to the board. Look, I mean, I don't make an opinion you. on them one way or the other. You know, that's not not my responsibility. No. Um, you know, I make if they ask me questions, I make recommendations about what I think should happen. But it, ultimately, it's their application, and and you all can put stipulations on it however you want to. That's the purpose of you giving the money. It will give you the money, but we want to see A, B, C, and D. So. I mean, you can say, hey, we don't mind helping do it, but we want to see this design implemented instead of what you're proposing. And that's well, y'all's y'all's well, right to do that. If this was my building and the door needed repair and I was renting the building out, I would take it out of my rent rental income to fix the door. Mm -hmm. I would not expect the DDA to assist me in repairing a building. Uh, if it was a repair and upgrade, it's a whole different scenario. That's that's just my I agree. my feeling. I, I was looking for improvement and, and repair. I don't I don't think that's what the purpose of this is is to help you with just your normal maintenance of your building. Can you get a point to them, Chris? Sure. So you want me to pretty much say that you prefer the rendering from the Carl yeah. Vincent Institute and if exactly. they want to move forward with that to resubmit maybe, their application. Maybe not a glass door but at least the awning and the lights to go right. with it. You know something that that benefits Wilson Street okay. not just benefits the building itself. So we've decided to table both of those in? I recommend yeah. we table. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do we need to vote on that Tracy?
Moving on down to update on Welcome Center. Yes, sir. Um, we I sent you all. We've been talking about this for some time now, and we kind of got off track because we didn't have a meeting in December, so I've been um, kind of just holding on to this information. We, we met with the Garland Group, uh, which is the original company did the assessment on the, the roof of the Welcome Center. Um, and we had sent you all some information about the price quote for that. Um, that was where we got that original number of like 150000 to replace the roof. Um, they have since come back with a more uh, concrete bid. And the reason why we talked with the, Gar the Garland Group um, specifically is they are um, have a state contract. And under Georgia law, municipalities can enter into a contract with a company as a state contract without bidding the project out. Uh, they basically pre, it's basically they're pre bidded it out and said with well, these companies are companies that you can utilize. The city has used the Garland Group on several of the projects in the city the last year and a half. Um, they came back with a price, um, a base price of. Um, $106,000, and then they had some add-ons that they just, you just don't know until you tear the roof off, but um, it, it's uh, basically not to exceed $130,000 uh, to totally replace asbestos abatement and, and all for the, um, the roof. Uh, I give this to you all as information, um, so we can do one or two ways. We can go ahead and move forward with this company, um, if that's the will of the DDA. Or if you prefer, we could bid that project out uh, and do a competitive bid on the market. And we're not bound to to use the Garland Group, uh, if that's the will. How long would it take to bid it out? Um, well, we'd have to get bid specs together, a bid package. We'd have to put it out. We usually give you know, anywhere from two to four weeks um, to get people to get a chance to look at it. And then you'd have an enclosed date for the bid. And then we'd open the bids. and. I mean, it, it can be pretty time-consuming just depending on the, the complexity of the bid. What who pays for putting together the specs? That would be us. That would come out of the, the renovation money that, um, that basically a line of credits, while I'm calling it, it would come out of that money. What is this proposal based upon market experience with Yeah, that's, a, so Garland didn't actually do the work. They bid it out, and that's uh, the company that they're proposing to bid it out to. That company's the one that would do the work. Ben Hill Roofing. I'm, I'm familiar with Ben Hill also, mm -hmm. and uh, it could be done cheaper than Ben Hill does. I can assure you. I, I have bid out several jobs, and Ben Hill's always been 30, 40% higher, always. It's definitely the will of the DDA. If that's what you want to do, we well, can go and move. There are local roofing companies that mm -hmm. that, uh, that are reputable for sure, <clears throat> and uh, uh, I just we can always go back to this one, right? Correct. So, if if yes, I I would say that this the 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 bid is only valid until three thirty. Well, that's sixteen, but I'm. Assuming they meant 17, <laughs> 331, 17. So that, that that would give us two and a half months, and mm -hmm. roughly two and a half months to get a bid package together, get it out, and, and get the bids back in. Do you think that's a reasonable time frame to do it? I mean, we could. I mean, it's, you know. I think we've got two months from the board. Yeah. Because we've got to meet. So we've got to have we a can meeting. always have a call meeting. Yeah. We're going to have a call meeting. And this, I mean, we've already had the survey of the roof done. So, I mean, all the, the hard part's already done. They would just need to, you know, figure out what their, what their cost is as far as their materials and stuff like that. But the, the evaluation and assessment of the condition of the roof has already been done. What are the qualifications that a roofer would have to have? Would he have to have any uh, special qualifications for this job? Well, yes, because the asbestos abatement, you have to be licensed to do that. Um, and, you have to be on the city vendor list, don't they? Or not well, doing that for us. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if that would we would necessarily have to, because this is a DDA project, not necessarily a city. Um, but uh, I mean, we could definitely, if that's one of the requirements that we want to. I mean, you could put the requirements you want in the bid document, um, but they'll need to be able to account for how they're going to abate the asbestos. Most general roofing contractors aren't licensed to to remove asbestos, so they'll have to subcontract that out to another company. Okay, so for, like a consumer that wants to buy the asbestos, for the city or anyone that's going to submit a bid, I mean, there's all these requirements for mm -hmm. bonding and insurance and you know, right. everything that makes them legit. What do we have in place as a DDA if we don't go through the city? Well, we would put, put together our own bid package. We did a similar bid package for the um, hotel motel market study. Um, that was a DDA bid package that we agreed that we would let Carol Tomorrow do, but it had where they had to be bonded, they had to have insurance. Um, there were a lot of requirements that are in the bid document, and they will have to provide us proof that they have those things. So we relied on Carol Tomorrow, who has experience and has probably had a form that they used to just... No, we provided the document and gave it to Carol Tomorrow. Uh, we provided that, yes. the, the bid thing to Correct, yes. Stacy and I worked okay. on that. So then you guys would work on the bid proposal for this other two then? Yep. And we'd probably get somebody f from a construction standpoint to help make sure we got all of the requirements that we need from that. I just... Based on my experience with uh, property in downtown Villarica and roofs <laughs> especially, I think it can be done cheaper than that. And I, it could be done by somebody here more local than Ben Hill. Uh, I, I recommend personally that, 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 that we do that. We can always go back to Ben Hill. We have got, got this deadline for the bid and uh, if if we push it, uh, to, you know, to try to get the the uh, package out there and the bids back and evaluated, we should we should be able to do that. So that is that is my recommendation. All right, we need a second for that then. concern is just the, the cost of getting the bid packet out and the time involved. That's, that's my big concern. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't have a problem with getting a second two or three more bids on it, and I certainly don't have the experience you do, Bill, on what this is reasonable cost or not. I don't have that experience. Well, the fly in the ointment here, from my perspective, is the asbestos abatement because I do not have any experience with that. I, I do know it's it's certainly more involved than just getting up and ripping the roof off. Mm -hmm. But how much of that hundred and thirty thousand or so? Well, it's it's they got seventeen thousand one hundred. Yeah, for asbestos abatement. Well, that's, in the that is not nearly as much as I would anticipate uh, out of the hundred and thirty. Now I, I want to keep in mind that the price that may not necessarily be 130. So the base price is 106, okay. But then you have these add-ons. The 106 doesn't include the asbestos abatement. It doesn't include um, allowances for because you don't know how much of the roof joists are going to have to be repaired, what what's rotted. So there's a sliding scale, if you will, uh, contingent upon what actually needs to be done. But I don't want to say oh it's going to. I don't want to be quoted. Uh, I'd rather you say 130 and it'd be less than me to say 100,000 and it'd be, you know, more. Um, so, um, you know, we just don't know until you, t until you start ripping off the roof how much of the decking is going to have to right. be replaced. Yeah, I understand that for sure. And, of course, you've, you know, if you've replaced roofing, you know, yeah. it's always. So there's contingency built into this. Yeah. Do you know the square feet of roof that's there? Chris? Uh, let's see. It's in the bid. Yeah, yeah it's, they, they're quoting some at 3000 and some. But yeah. 2300 yeah. with no no gable ends or anything like that. It is, it is essentially a flat roof, correct? 
Uh, well, there, you, there's some images in there of the roof that, and the packet. Oh, you don't have your electronic. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Get, I, th I had some extra. Here's one right here. <laughs> She's got her phone. So if you look at the construction, the uh, so if you look at that roof assessment packet, it has. Um, I don't see any images of the roof. Is it in that packet here? Oh, they got left out. They're right here. That's where that went, Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's where that other part is from. Yeah, there's not much telling how many roofs have been put on that thing over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it uh, definitely has more than a few. I would say several. And with my it, limited experience with roofing, I do know that flat roofs are more challenging than their... Mm -hmm. they, they are a lot more challenging to keep up. Yeah. They're yeah. a whole lot easier to do, but a whole lot more challenging to maintain. And I think to do right would help with your, your maintenance. Uh, I just see the parapet wall here, and, and, the, and the rest of it appears to be pretty much... Flat, probably with a one to twelve uh, drop on it. That's that's kind of standard. Mm -hmm. I still recommend we go get some more bids. That's a motion to get more bids. Do I have a second on that one? I think also we need another bid on it. Okay. So I'll second that. So all in favor? I just do we have an idea what a bid, what putting together a bid packet is going to cost us? Chris, do you have any idea? I don't right now, but I can get that information and get it to y'all. Well, that's good. I mean, that's another one of my issues is time. It's just like we push everything back, push everything back, push everything back. So, well, yeah. I mean, because you're going to have to give them time to respond to the proposal right. and, 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 and review the proposals and stuff. Yeah. Charlie, what, what's your concern about getting more bids or not getting more? Mine is timing. I do contracts and I do requests for proposals daily. So you have to, you have to. Once you put it out there, you got to give them time to. Res I mean, you have to have a certain amount of time for people to respond. And then, of course, you said you could call the meeting. And you can do a call meeting to review. But then, what kind of crunch is that going to put you into meeting, making sure you're in line with this other deadline? You know, how much time are you going to have left to say this is what we're going to do? Our, and, and we could ask them if they would extend extend the 31st of March. Yeah, yeah. If they're willing to do that, I don't know if you know how much the prices are going to change that much <clears throat> from a material standpoint. So, Jerry, am I would I be correct to say that you think we need another bid because that's just good business to get another bid? So uh, this is a vetted company yeah. that does this. And Bill, your concern is you worked with or are familiar with Ben Hill, and they always are high. I am familiar with the roofs also. Yeah. I think it's incumbent upon us to spend our money wisely. I, I do too. And, I and we spend our time wisely too. Well, your time and my time is volunteerism. And so I work cheap. I don't get paid for this job. <laughs> but I know I have worked hard for downtown for over 25 years. Really at a standstill there, right? It looks it, it <laughs> looks like we're not going to make a decision at all. Yeah. 
flight. And I recommend we table this. That's right. I I I recommend we table it un, until we get more board members here. Yes. I'll second that. <laughs> All in favor? All opposed? Then it fails too. We only got we only got one more motion now. Then, then, then I guess we have to vote on it. Right. <laughs> okay, so we need to vote on whether to accept it or not. Whether to accept it or not, then. Do I have a motion to accept the bid from Ben Hill? Is that what we're? Well, the bid is from Garland. From Garland, Garland. yeah. Garland. 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 The state approved. The yes, yeah, a state contract. It has been vetted. correct in assuming that Garland has gotten other bids or not? How do they decide upon Ben Hill? Um, they, they most likely just have contractors that they deal with, but I, I, okay. I'm not sure if they bid it out before they select one or they pick one that um, is the best qualified for what, for what they're trying to, to accomplish. I can find that out, though, and get it to you, how, the, how they selected specifically that company. Where are we staying? <laughs> you need a motion. Or more board members. <laughs> or one more board member. Or one more board member. <laughs> yeah. Need a motion for that? Yeah. yeah. Do I have a motion to table it until we have more board members? Well, I, I guess, yeah, what we'll do is we'll get a, a time schedule for if we're going to bid it out, and then we'll get those few questions answered about the Garland group, and then we can make a decision I think based that's on that. What the last motion was, wasn't it? Basically, wait till we have some more board members here. To me, this is about more than having more board members. It's about having more information. That suits me fine, to have more information. Is that a motion? To have more information? That's the motion. Yes, that's the motion. All right, have a motion for more information. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? All right. So, can it, um, do you all want to set a date for the uh, uh, called meeting? Does the 30th work? 
the thirtieth. It's next uh, Monday. A week from the day. A week from the day. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to prolong. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Chris can take care of the recording for Tracy. Probably for just yeah, a we short sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can handle that, can't you? Mm-hmm. All right. So oh, we're going to do the 30th one. at the same time. We, we can. Okay, so the 30th at 615 here then, right? And I'll reach out. <clears throat> Pin down some, make sure the board members are locked in and ready to go. Gary and will Tom be back then, or we won't be back in March. Uh Oh, he's on his sabbatical. Okay. You might call it that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Yeah, I'll get with Elisa. Okay. Anything else? Welcome, Center. Moving on down, number three gateway signs. Okay. Hopefully this can be <laughs> a lot less painful. Um, we have already a bid packet for the gateway signs. Um, this is the bid packet. I, there's one because they're not cheap. <clears throat> so I'll pass it around and let y'all look at it. Um, it has the specs for the signs. It has um, the m- proper material, the amount of signs we want. Um, so that project is ready to go. We just need to get approval from the board to go ahead and put out that RFP um, to start soliciting for bids. Um, the, the other new business, the, the financial management thing, um, we did receive a check from the city. Um, is that seventy-one thousand? Uh, seventy-one thousand to go towards the um, the gateway sign project. How much? Uh, Seventy-one thousand. Um, so that um, we'll need to work on the finance management part, and I'll talk about the check uh, afterwards. But so there's funding to go ahead and start um, the project. Uh, obviously, depending upon the f- how, what the bids come in and how much um, the project's going to cost, it determines if we do that project all at once or in phases. So it might be that we do part of the signs now and then do the other part when we have more funds available. But we do have 71,000 to do the first first part. Yeah, it's ready. Yeah, that's the big packet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. What you need from us is a approval and Yeah, just approval to to move forward with that. Just one question, Chris. Mm-hmm. Uh why did uh you choose not to put a gateway sign at uh South Carroll in sixty one, since that's one of the main drags coming in from the, the south. You're talking about where the uh, Social Security Administration? Oh. Um, well, these are gateway signs that are say you have reached downtown Villarica. So it, there is one on South Carroll, but it's more in the historic district than that far down. I don't know if it shows up on that map or not, but there should be one, two, three, four, five gateway signs total. There's a... a Purple circle is that is that what oh, recommends the what you're looking at. one on okay. South South Carroll? So the ones with the uh, broken line, the, the red with the purple circle in the center. Center. You're looking at the site plan. I'm looking at the gateways here. There's one, two, three, four. And then there's a small purple circle right on South Carolina. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, those, so that's is it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This okay. one obviously won't be built because that's the Mirror Lake connector. So that will be in another phase. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be one, two, three, four. I got you. Okay. 
Yeah, it just, I don't know why we made it look different. <laughs> and of course, those are just geographical points. I mean, we'll have to figure out where we have rights. Um, obviously, the ideal thing is put it all on property that's owned by the city, but there may be a situation where, you know, we have to get an easement or something. Um, but I think most of the places, either the city controls or, or GDOT, so. On the uh, signs that give the businesses mm -hmm. located in downtown Villarica, how easily are they going to be updated? Yeah, they'll, they'll be little individual wings, I guess you could say, and those will just come off and you can put a new one on. Okay. So... Uh, so it is not like we can leave one up there that's been gone for two years. No, you can take or, it down. Can you can put a blank or you can, yeah. okay. or you can just put another, replace it with a business. Yeah, we have. We have. We haven't um, really pushed it real hard uh, right now just because we were waiting to get all of that uh, part done. Um, because I generally don't like to talk to people about stuff, and then we wait six months to a year before anything, and then they forget about it. And yeah. So uh, I try to wait until it's like, all right, we're ready to move on this, and then we'll start lining people up. Because that's usually the question they ask, well, when's it going to happen? So and I don't, you know, I'd rather not say I don't know. I'd rather say, well, we've got the bids out, and they're ready to go. We need a motion to go with a bid package in that right, Chris? Well, just to go ahead and, and let yeah, let the um, polls go out so we can go solicit bids. All right. Do we have a motion then? Move that we uh, allow the bid packet to go out to some, um, say, subpoena. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want that. <laughs> solicit bids. Yeah. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I second. Motion to second. All in favor? All right. Go down to number six, new business. All right. 2017 budget. Yeah, I didn't um, put together a budget um, for the DDA. I, get, I wanted to get the dialogue started about what that really looks like. There's going to be um, obviously a lot more activity this year than in previous years. Um, just because we'll be doing projects like the gateway signs and stuff. So there'll be um, um, funds expended more, uh, I guess, more often for the DDA. Um, and so I wanted to kind of get some feedback from the board about what direction they wanted to go into as far as, um, you know, how they want to do that financial management part. Um, my thought process is to get with the um, CFO for the city, kind of help give us a framework, um, because anytime you know we're going to be dealing with with bids and paying contractors and stuff like that, um, we really need to have some policies in place about how that happens. Then you know just bringing paperwork to meetings and being like, hey, we need to pay this pack, this pile of um. So you know even for when we submit bills to be paid, that paper trail that we need to have. Um, but I, you know, I wanted to give that um, to the DDA to think about and see, um, is it maybe we set up a committee and they kind of put the parameters together and bring it back to the board to adopt as a policy? Is that something you would like staff just to put together, bring back to the DDA as recommendations, and then you can take the pieces that you want? Um, you know, but I'll leave that up to, to, to the group to decide what direction, what direction you want to give staff on that. I agree. That is where the expertise should lie anyway. Okay. We don't do the work. We just set a policy, right? Mm -hmm. We can set a policy that you do out and do, and do good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very vague policy. Those are good policies. 
So that answered your question. Well, that answers my question then. So I'll get with Sarah. Um, and another thing, and, you know, Tracy, we're going to be obviously generating a lot more checks. Like we have a check from the city where we haven't been able to deposit because we have to take it down to Tracy or what? what Carl, something. We need to or add Carl. Yeah. And then I handed it to. <laughs> yeah, we need to add Carl because the, really the, the reason why we need Carl is because we are required to be part of the um, audit for the city. And so it's helpful for us to get information to Sarah in a way that she can then turn around and give to the auditors every year. So but the check was made out to the city of Villarica, so. What, what check? Oh, uh, we got a new check. Oh, a new uh, check. They, okay. they printed another check to the DDA. Okay. So, yeah, it's coming to the DDA. Um, but, you know, just exactly, you know, like how do we handle that? How do we manage that? So that that's really why we want to you know, get whatever the policy is going to be so that way we're, we're, we make sure we're uh, in the good and getting her the information she needs um, so when it comes time to do the audit, um, I'm not getting nasty emails and stuff because mm -hmm. they get a little stressful at that time of the year. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we will bring that back then to the DDA uh, for recommendation um, probably here in the um, February meeting. All right, any public comment? Anything on the tourism board? That's on the. We do. We have another. Oh, yeah. Got a whole other yeah. 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 We got no whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep them yeah. separate. Items for future agenda. Is this one we need to go executive session on then, Bill? Yeah, I reckon so. All right. What do we need to do? Cut the mics off then, or? Yes. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'm gonna pause that. And we need to.